<laughs> there again. Well, um, thank you very much for being coming here. I read a little bit about you, and uh, my heart was uh, touched by your interest in certain things thank you. at your age. Yes. And so um, I just uh, uh, what it does when I talk to somebody like you, I get energy um, about the future of America. Because you. you are the future of America. Thank you. So what can I? What do you want to talk about? Um. Well, I'm here at Hanscom Air Force Base with a very exciting interview. It's my honor to introduce General Olson. Hi. How are you? Well, I'm feeling great, and I just told you why, because I'm yes. sitting here for the future of America. <laughs> Thank you. You're the future of America. <laughs> I just have less future in front of me than you have in front of you. Did you always know you wanted to be in the Air Force? Uh... No. What I knew from a very early age is that I wanted to fly airplanes. Oh. When I was your age, I would stand at an airport and just stare at the sky looking at airplanes. I would build model airplanes. I would watch airplane things on TV. So I knew I wanted to fly airplanes. But it wasn't until I was in high school, maybe about eight or nine years from now for you, then I, I understood that the Air Force was about flying airplanes to defend our nation. Yes. And I also wanted to go to college. So I wanted to find a place where I could go to college, learn how to fly airplanes, and defend the nation. That's what led me to the Air Force. Um, also, um, I heard that if you um, help in the Navy for two years, you can get a scholarship. Uh, the Navy? Um, I think so. Well, it's, um, it's actually true for any service. Air Force, oh. Navy, Army, all offer scholarships for young men and women who are interested in serving to help them get through college. Yes, and you also got to fly a plane. I did get to do that, yes. So it helped you with everything. Oh, yes. yes. You can, not only that, it was, it was a blessing because it was so much fun and it had so much meaning to it. Yes. So thank you for asking that. You're welcome. How do you become a general? Uh, you have to depend on the grace of God because I don't have enough skill to be a general, let alone a lieutenant. So, um, what you, uh, my advice, Shana, Shana? Yes. Okay, Shana, is you do the very best at what you're doing that moment. So, if you're going to college or if you're going to school where you are, you give your very best today. Yes. And tomorrow, you give your very best again. Eventually, you'll be in high school, you give your very best there. Then you'll be in college, you give your very best again. And when you're a lieutenant in the Air Force, you give your very best again. And maybe someday you might be a general, yes. but but that you can't really control. You just keep on giving your best. You, you saw the pattern, didn't you? Yes. You keep on giving your very best. What is your proudest moment? Proudest moment? Well, I've had so many. Um, but uh, oh, it's a very difficult question to answer. But um, And the reason I say that, Shana, is because the Air Force is and the service of the nation is so very important and meaningful that I've had more moments than I can tell you that have meant something to me. So I'm not even going to give you an Air Force moment. I'm going to say um, when I, uh, okay, it's partly an Air Force moment. Okay. I have four young boys, sons, my wife and I, and when I was um, promoted to a Brigadier General about uh, seven years ago, I had two of those sons in what we call an honor guard because they were in the army. So I had two of my sons in the army. I had an, another son who was in college doing what you talked about earlier, ROTC, a scholarship to learn how to be in the Navy. And I had one of his friends. So four young men were carrying American flags, Air Force flags, and they were the what we call the honor guard for this ceremony. So that was a very special moment for me to, to be able to have a promotion with my own sons in the ceremony as future soldiers. That is very proud. Yeah, yeah I can't even describe it. Um, yes. And I've had many moments like that that I just thank God were a part of my life. Yes. Thank you, for asking. You're welcome. What is the most challenging part of your job? Uh, every day. Yes, every, <laughs> every day. day. So um, the the. We do what we call um, acquisition. You don't write that word down, but we purchase things for the Air Force to use when they fight wars uh, or when they defend this nation. And so 
uh, because of the, the other countries out there that are our enemies or don't like what we're doing and that we have to defend ourselves to, it's a complicated process to, to buy the right things for the Air Force, Navy, Army, Marine Corps so that our nation can stay free. Yes. That's a very complicated thing on buying the right equipment. So when you ask what's the most challenging thing, it's, it's how to spend the dollars in the best possible way. Your mom and dad, they pay dollars to the government. Those dollars as taxes, those dollars, some of those dollars come to us and we have to go buy the right things uh, to keep this nation free. So that's a very big responsibility because it's their dollars and your dollars, sort of. And we have to use them well because we want you to grow up free. And whenever you have sons and daughters, we want them to be free. Don't you? Yes. Okay. But you surely buy the right equipment. I, do you think we do? Yes. And we're trying to. You do. Well, thank you for that compliment. You're welcome. Being a general, you must have to motivate a lot of people. Who or what motivates you? Uh, I'll tell you what motivates me is, is um, I feel that uh, God has put me in this job for a very special purpose and to be a part of defending the nation. Everything I've told you about. So I am motivated by keeping this nation free, a nation where people are free to worship as they choose, free to choose the profession they want, free to go to the school they want. All those things I want to defend. So um, I am very motivated for that reason. And it's not for me, it's, it's more for you. To make sure that you and your your friends, your brothers, your sisters get to pursue your dreams. Yes. That motivates me. Yes, that motivates me too. I can tell. <laughs> can you describe what it feels like flying in a fighter jet? Uh, it, well, have you ever been to an amusement park? Um, yes. And ridden a roller coaster? No. Okay, take her to ride a roller coaster. <laughs> and when you're on a roller coaster and you're going down really fast and the the tr in a little car like this, the track will turn this way and then it'll turn that way and then it'll, it'll roll and you'll feel a lot of weight on your body and it might be pro positive weight or it might be lifted out of your chair and you'll you get your head will be twisting around because you're doing loops. Uh, that's what it feels like to fly a fighter airplane. But much faster. Okay, you're moving faster, true. Yes. <laughs> yes. I always end my interviews with asking the question, what is your favorite meal and dessert? Okay, um, Taco Bell. You ever been to Taco Bell? Um, no. The problem is there's not enough of those here in yes. New England. But there is one in Burlington. I'll take you there if you want to go. But Taco Bell is a fast food place where they make Mexican food. So burritos. You ever had a burrito? Um, no. Oh, man. I think so. Okay, but it's Mexican food made like McDonald's very fast. Yes. All right, so that's my favorite meal. My favorite dessert is called Blue Bell Ice Cream made in Texas. Well, no matter what type of ice cream it is, I think I'll like it. You like ice cream? Yes. Wonderful. That is my favorite dessert. Me too. Okay. We got a lot in common. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, General Olsen. It's an honor to meet you. Okay, can I give you a hug? Yes. yes. I love It's you. an honor to meet you. It's an honor to meet you. Uh, Thank you, Shane. Thank you. You are very, very special. You have uh, a God-given gift oh. to express yourself. Thank you. You really do? You do too. So please use it. Thank you. Okay.